Hello, Regan here. Welcome to day nine. So I took a little break from my Cthulhu Christmas hopper to do some other stuff. I have a bunch of these like larger designs. I made them a little bit bigger than I had planned on and uh, they are made on like a foil vinyl instead of something that's more stretchy. Uh, the downside to that is because they don't stretch, it's harder to get them curved around the ball. With some designs, it still works just fine, but with these, not so much. But I thought, you know what? I'm not going to waste it. I already cut them out, and they're going on my tree, so it's fine <laughs> if they're a little bit, like, lumpy or not quite exactly like I want them. I mean, I could I could sit down and, like, make some little cuts with an X-Acto knife or a small pair of uh, scissors and kind of overlap the material so that it would be a little bit better but they're not they're not terrible <laughs> it's not it's not completely bad I mean it's really hard for me I'm a little a little obsessive compulsive when it comes to some things I mean that's why I'm like this failing perfectionist and have a filthy desk is because I get so overwhelmed but I also work better when I'm completely nesting and have a big pile of junk everywhere <laughs> it's just how I function anyway but yeah so I took some of these bigger designs and put them on some Christmas balls just to try some different things and see if I could get them to kind of smooth out uh, the star was like the hardest part it's little how do I put this it's armpits <laughs> The little indentation parts in the, like where it goes in, in the middle, uh, those were the worst. They just kind of folded over and stuck up a little bit. But I'm thinking, like I said, that I might I'll just go in and just give them a little tiny little like snip right there and kind of fold the material over or cut away the excess and it should be just fine. And then I got this brilliant idea to put a poncetia inside of a Christmas ball. I had to like make it flat because the stems stick up so much in the back on these but I still wanted the leaves and everything on there so I just took the poncetia apart and I cut everything as flat as I could and then squished it all together and hot glued it and then um, I was looking for something to put on there and I don't think I found anything it's really bad it's sitting on my desk you would think I would know what it looks like but I'm in my room doing my voiceover right now so yeah anyway so I stuck the flower in there and then I just took some tweezers and kind of worked it around and got it in the position that I wanted it so that it would look cute and be the way that I liked and then after I got it in there and started getting it into position I thought oh you know I could have put some glitter on this poncetia because it's going inside the ball and I wouldn't have glitter everywhere because it would be contained inside the ball so uh, I wasn't gonna like pull it back out of there and go through all of that so I just stuck some chunky glitter down into the ball with the flower and I like the way it looks I think it's cute um, I don't hate it <laughs> Ponsetti was probably a little bit big uh, for it, but it turned out okay. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I kind of, I kind of like it. I think it turned out cute. Um, I'm still working on these. I'm still like trying to get all this stuff done and like fifty thousand other things. But I just wanted to, like I said, make sure that I'm uploading daily and doing the thing and just showing you guys my progress as I work on all this stuff. I also did some glitter on the inside. Now I have other adhesives that would probably totally work better for this, but the reason why I went with Elmer's glue is because um, I did one already with the Elmer's glue and it was really cool because I was able to like get it out of it really easily without like scratching up the inside of the ball so that I could reuse it for something else if I wanted to. I don't like permanent stuff for a lot of this type of crafting because I might like decide to change the color that I want on my tree or whatever, you know, I mean, I don't know. I like options <laughs> and I like cheap and Elmer's glue is really cheap and it works in a pinch, but don't do what I did because I put too much glue and I put a little bit of water and I should have mixed it up separately, but I was like, Oh, I'll just do it in there. And then I put, this one is supposed to have two different colors of glitter in it. That was the idea. So, cause I just had this little bit of glitter. So I put that in there and then I put some white. This, these aren't dry yet, so I don't know exactly how good or bad they turned out. I'll have to show you once they're dry uh, tomorrow because they uh, weren't dry at the time of me doing this voiceover. So we'll check on them again tomorrow 
and I'll give you an update and show you pictures of all of them. I'll also post some stuff over on my Instagram once I get them done and you can see for yourself how they how they turned out but I put some snowflakes on here because I had some snowflakes once again that I had cut out these were the perfect size and I think they were two inches maybe a little less uh, but they turned out great there was a couple spots that I put them down wrong <laughs> but uh, if it if the design doesn't have a big base footprint you can kind of get it to work its way around now like I said if I used vinyl like regular vinyl um, it wouldn't be so bad because it's stretchy so you can kind of like uh, make little cuts in your transfer tape and like pull and stretch the design a little bit here and there so that it sits flush on the on the Christmas ball but yeah I kind of learned my lesson the hard way <laughs> with with the foil and also like the satin glitter finish ones are the same way and like a lot of the glitter ones because they, they don't have much stretch but yeah so I did glue another one and use some purple glitter in it and once again I did things so wrong here um, while I was doing this I had a lot of other stuff going on uh, my son was uh, replacing his mouse pads and I was helping him with that and then I was like watching TV and playing with the cats off to the side and doing all these other things so I kind of figured that things would go bad but I was honestly having a lot of fun with the way that it was uh, like working around I was like just trying to get just okay I kind of got caught up with just like watching the glitter and the glue kind of flow around on the inside of the uh, Christmas ball and then I was just sitting here kind of goofing off not really getting much practical done <laughs> while trying to get the excess out but I ended up putting these upside down on cups so that they'd have a chance to dry and the rest of that would uh, work its way out but I was really trying to even things out and kind of correct the little bit of a mistake that I made here with gooping so much glitter and glue in there the way that I did but um, it looks like it's turning out okay I checked it today and uh, then we have an, an is this another one I think it is another one not another one. I'm just kidding. Um, I was trying to figure out what color to put in the star because I decided I wanted to glitter it as well. And uh, of course, I had to put a kitty cat on something too. So um, this cat was like the perfect size. It was just like a little, little one. I think it's like one and a half inches. That one, uh, even though it was pretty like flat or whatever, it went on with no problem. It was a good size and. Uh, but yeah, if you kind of just pay attention to the, the consistency of the, the type of vinyl that you're using, it definitely makes a, a big difference. And then there was like this little uh, hand that I also put on one. I don't know why I keep going completely out of frame. Oh, I was putting water in there, like spraying water in the water bottle and I didn't want to do it uh, all over the place. <laughs> if I hold my arms out that far. Okay, I'm having so much fun with this glitter kit, by the way. There's so many colors. So many colors. All the colors. Much excitement. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I did find a little bit better option with this one. I didn't put as much glue, and then I just used a little spray bottle and sprayed a little bit of water in there. And that seemed to like help get the glue a little bit more evened out than before. The ideal way to do this is to mix the glue in the water beforehand and put it in there and to do that. But I did do a bunch of different tests. I did some with Dimensional Magic, I did some, some with Elmer's glue, and then I used another um, couple of other things that honestly I don't even remember right offhand. <laughs> but as we get closer to Christmas I'll do a full video uh, kind of breaking down how each one turned out and uh, pros and cons. It's just kind of slow. Uh, I'm working on that in the background while I do everything else. So far so good with this though. And <laughs> that's what the glitter looked like inside there. I really, really <laughs> enjoy putting the glitter and glue in though. It's a lot of fun. It really is. Uh, the really important part is to make sure that your glue layer is thin enough on the inside so that you don't get like, it does a weird thing. It's like little ripples, like waves. 
of uh, glitter. If you put the glitter in and you've got uh, too much glue, it kind of runs weird and looks really, really strange. So uh, what I did to save <laughs> this one was after it got mostly dry, I threw a little bit more uh, glitter in there and that seemed to really work well. It looked really, really pretty. I also thinned it down a lot more than I had with the other one. I put a lot, a lot more water to kind of like thin everything down so it was a little bit easier. I also got glue all over me <laughs> in the process of making these because I am a messy, messy crafter and I don't know how to not. Um, I was really trying, see this one, uh, you can kind of see, you get a little glimpse of it, but it's like really like splotchy, it's like everywhere. Um, I, I despise glitter because of this reason, it's because I am a messy crafter. For the cat one, I got some of this big chunky stuff. I love this flake. This is also really fun for using um, when making like the faux opal pieces in resin. Um, uh, who is it? Oh, it's Turtle Soup Beads, I think, is the YouTuber that I watched that makes those really, like, cool, uh, like, fake opal cabochons and stuff, and she uses something that's very similar to this, a product that looks very similar to this. Um, and it's just big, chunky pieces of, like, acetate that are, like, the, the, like, shimmery rainbow color. Absolutely love it. I can't wait to show these off once they're all done. Like I said, I did this. And I have to wait for everything to dry. So uh, there's no like, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, it's two videos in a row that I don't have a big final reveal. <laughs> My apologies, but they're coming. So you better subscribe so that you can come back and see <laughs> what kind of a mess I've made. <laughs> of myself my life and my crafts no um anyway but yeah lots and lots of fun honestly um afterward i took some tape and got as much of the glitter off of my desk as i possibly could because oh <laughs> uh lint rollers work really good for this too because i don't like finding glitter like a month later anyway thank you for stopping by i will see you tomorrow with some more cthulhu and uh the finished product of all of this mess that I made today. Talk to you later. Bye.